Hi, I'm Tori. I'm that lonely local cryptid that's always blurry in every photo you take. And welcome to my YouTube channel. So, for my first video I thought it'd be really good to talk about my top recommendations. If I were stranded on a desert island, this would be in my makeup bag. These are the ultimate products, these are my favorites, and I'd like to share those with you. The first product that I cannot recommend enough is Morphe's MB13. I love this brush with a fiery passion. This brush is wonderful. It's This brush is great for nose contour, under lip contour, eyeshadow, blending, everything. You name it, it's amazing for it. I love this brush so much specifically for eyeshadow and you know for those of you that have eyebrows because shocker I draw mine on. Um, I recommend getting one of their smaller brushes for doing eyeshadow since this is a larger brush and I like it so much because it can move a large volume of eyeshadow and blend it out all at the same time. I mean this thing I tap my shadows and toot 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 done. However for doing more precise uh, crease lining, eye lining, anything you want to talk about the Morphe M124 M124. It is good for precision, it's soft, it's beautiful, it's inexpensive, which is why I love Morphe so much. They are my top brand for brushes. I don't think I'll ever really use anything other than Morphe just because I'm so pleased with their brushes. However, I think this is the number one brush you should buy yourself if you want to do big, bold, bright, colorful eyeshadow and you need a brush that's good for blending. Another blending brush that I can recommend that I like to use on occasion but I use it more for highlighting than anything is my Sugar Pill Blending Brush. It's pink, it's fat, and it's blending and it's really cute. It's just I'm such a huge sugar pill fan and I'll get into that in a minute, but I cannot recommend this brush enough. Moving on, I, like a lot of women, I had a really hard time contouring when it first came out. So I think one of my biggest things is actually finding the Morphe 438 brush right here. It's a nice big fat brush and it's great because it's a pointed blending brush, I think, or it's a pointed, I found it in the contour section when I was buying the MB13 and this brush I use it for contouring oh my god for color contouring it's absolutely fabulous I love this brush so much and my contour I look like I always got punched in the face whenever I do my contour this saved my life I cannot recommend this brush enough so that again for you guys is the M428 love it to death moving on so we're gonna talk about something very near and dear to my heart one of my favorite parts about doing makeup one of Probably like things I'm known for and that's eyeshadow. I love eyeshadow so much. My number one product when it comes to eyeshadow that I travel with everywhere I go is Thunderstruck by Kat Von D. So as you can tell, it's slightly got a pink hue to it because it's a more of a pearl eyeshadow than a matte or just a base shimmer. And this is great for doing your inner corners, doing your highlight, and honestly, just everything. I love this eyeshadow. Now, I will say, I really like the new Kat Von D Alchemy palette. My only problem with it is it's so small. The pan size is so small. I bought this back in December and I've already hit pan on the pink highlight which is what I'm wearing today. It blends so beautifully into your blush because of that pink undertone and also you have fucking gorgeous, you have beautiful colors here. This is everything. I cannot recommend this palette. It's $32. However, you will run through it quickly. You will use this. I promise you, you will use a lot of it. I would say to get this um, if you want like all for one. This is great for everything, for every skin tone, every look. It's $20 though, this is $30, so you're getting more for your money. So these are like my two top recommended, but for white eyeshadow, oh. And that's really saying something because Sugar Pill's white eyeshadow is the real deal, but I love the pearlization because when you do white bottom liner, if you put a little bit of this on top of that white liner, it makes it look so blended and natural, well, not natural, but it makes it look so smooth and seamless. So I cannot recommend that enough. Moving on. So, okay. <laughs> Finally, we're getting to my favorite brand to talk about ever. That is Sugar Pill. I love Sugar Pill so much. Um, one of my favorite eyeshadows that I can't recommend enough that's actually a newer release is Kimchi. As you can tell, I've used the hell out of this and I've dropped it. And I have had this since I think November and I still haven't hit pan on this. And I, I'm wearing this eyeshadow under my eyes. It looks amazing on everyone. It is one of my favorite eyeshadows. I cannot recommend it enough. And oh my God, it's just, 
works with everything. If, if you blend this with dollop, oh my god, you make the nicest lavender ever. It's this nice little minty blue, aqua blue. It's a true cyan. I don't even know how to describe the color other than that it's perfect. Moving on. So next thing that I always like to use, um, the reason why I'm bringing up sugar pill again is because dollop is great for an eyeshadow because it's a very great bubblegum, like poppy pink, but it's a great blush, which I'm wearing today, but it blends gorgeously and it works so well as a blush and I cannot recommend it enough. Moving on. I am not a huge palette girl. Like I love eyeshadow palettes. I have my fair share, but one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes to date, and it took me forever to buy, and I don't know why, is the Electric Palette by Urban Decay. If you haven't heard of this palette, I would be shocked because it's like the neon palette period. This palette changed my young adult life. I got it last year in May. It's amazing. I use it for everything. This is like, if you're new to color, this is what you want to use when you're beginning. You want pigmented, you want to use a brand you can trust. There you go. If you're still on a budget and you want to try out doing bright colored eyeshadows, I cannot recommend Inked Barbie Cosmetics enough. For $30, you get this whole set of shimmer and matte eyeshadow. The colors are beautiful. I use them mostly for color contouring because of how large the pan size are. And you can tell which colors are my favorite here. The lavender and yellow are beautiful. That orange is so gorgeous for a pumpkin spice look. They're inked Barbie. They have beautiful colors, beautiful neons. They're very affordable. And this palette's like $30. Um, go on their website and pick it up. It's great for beginners. It's very inexpensive. And you get so much color. Moving on. So. Everyone loves glitter. I love glitter, you love glitter, we all love glitter. So whenever I'm going to an event or I'm packing for a big trip and I know I'm gonna do like really crazy looks or whatever, I only ever bring two glitters that are like my top favorite. Number one is Lit Cosmetics in Hawaii Five-O. This color is a nice blue lavender with some multicolor shifts in it. This color is absolutely fabulous. I am using it a little bit on my glitter tears today. Um, it looks so great for like those um, pinks and lavenders and blues and whites. It looks great on everything. It's great for glitter tears. It's great for lips. It's just one of those colors that's really versatile and it's really gorgeous. I mean, you're gonna look like a fairy. You're gonna look like a mermaid, like an alien. It's great. Um, my next glitter, which is actually the larger size, this is like size three, I think, is Barbie Shops. This is much bigger. It's white with hints of pink, yellow, blue. This is a beautiful color. Um, again, I would use this on top of white eyeshadow. I would use it on top of pinks. I would use it in glitter tears, especially glitter tears. It captures a lot of light and it's gorgeous. If you're on a budget and you don't want to order from Lit Cosmetics, I would then recommend going to NYX's glitter. However, they don't carry as many as the glitters as they used to, um, which is really heartbreaking, but they've started where they've started selling a lot more glitters at Ulta now. So I would go online and check out Ulta and look at the glitters they have because they're usually sold out here, which is really sad. So you're probably asking me, okay, glitter is great and all, but how do you get it to stay on? So, okay, I usually use uh, Too Faced's glitter insurance, but LA Splash has made this Until Midnight primer. This is like super glue for makeup. This is every, because this is so intense, it will not move, but this is everything for glitter. You wanna talk about never moving? This is the real deal. Like this, this will not leave you at the ball at midnight, like fucking step, you will not be Cinderella at midnight at the ball running away from your damn Prince Charming. This will last you for the rest of your life. You put this on, never take it off, it will never come off. This primer is everything. everything. And I mostly recommend it for glitter. I haven't really used it as much with eyeshadow because it's so strong that I get a lot of harsh edges. So it's a little harder to kind of blend with. Um, I like Urban Decay's primer a little bit better. Um, like the original eyeshadow primer, but this will never move. So have fun with that. Moving on, as you saw in my hand as I'm sitting here screaming about that primer, um, Urban Decay's Heavy Metal in Distortion. This is gorgeous because it's actually got pink and green color shifts to it. 
And the reason why that's so cool is that pink and green are actually complementary colors, so they vibrate off of each other. So visually, that's really interesting on top of a white background, but this is great for, oh my god, I'm in a hurry, and I want to keep up with my weirdo streak, I want to put on some glitter tears. Done. You're done. That's it. Glitter snot? Yes. Glitter everywhere? Yes. This is wonderful. And before it dries, you can actually apply glitter on top of the wet spots to make it even more intense. Like take a little bit of that Hawaii Five-O and pop it on top of this on your lid. You got glitter for days, girl. So I cannot recommend this enough. You're welcome. Moving on. Second thing I'm passionate about after eyeshadow is actually eyelashes. I love eyelashes. Um, the brand that introduced me to larger than life eyelashes is actually House of Lashes. Iconic is actually like one of their best, most known big eyelashes, but they're really great to stack with if you get like longer, looser lashes. I'm only wearing one pair today actually, which is shame on me. Sugar Pill's actually great for eyelashes as well. I've heard a rumor that they're no longer gonna be carrying some of their lashes, so just a heads up, in case it's true, uh, your next bet for getting dupes that they actually carry the same lashes is Inklopt. They're actually sold on Beautylish. Um, however, they're about double the price. So Sugar Pill is still selling eyelashes by the time you watch this video. Buy as many as you can. They are, you're, they'll change your life. Um, I have pretty much every pair of eyelashes they've made. They're amazing. I cannot recommend them enough. So moving on, my next thing I love, 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 is Sugar Pill's Pretty Poison lipstick line is a dream come true. I love it so much. This is Cubby. I am actually wearing it right now. It's wonderful. The color is like a very true pretty coral. Check that out. I love it so fucking much. This and Girl Crush are like my top two lipsticks and they do not come off easily. So I really appreciate that they're super pigmented and they're creamy. You will never really see me using matte lipstick. Like I do not like matte lipstick. I like my lipsticks cream because matte crumbles, it gets dry and I exfoliate and moisturize and prep all day long, but it does not stop matte lipstick. And I feel like I'm the only person with that problem. I'm the only person, I think it's because I'm a bona fide cup girl, so I'm always sipping on a drink and always drinking coffee or whatever, always licking my lips. You know, I can't help myself. So I, that's why I love cream lipstick. It does not come off. Moreover, if you've been on a budget and you still want really pigmented lipsticks, I can't recommend Impulse Cosmetics enough. This color stays on so long. I cannot believe it. When I first dyed my hair blue, I was like, I'm gonna have to buy blue lipstick. And this was the first thing I got a sample of. And I used the sample up until it was like nothing. It was just dry cavern. You open it up and it's like just dust. I love this color. Um, it's got a nice little yellow green shift to it. It's gorgeous. You can't really see it, but unfortunately in my makeup bag, it got wet somehow. I can't remember from what and the labeling all came off because there used to be really nice little flower design. I'm not really sure what happened, um, but the product's fine. So, and I think this lipstick was only like $4, so I can't recommend it enough. Impulse Cosmetics is really good for their loose pigmented eyeshadow, which I have some of. Um, I'm not really great at using loose pigment shadow. I'm gonna just put that. But I can't recommend their lip colors enough because they have really beautiful colors and I feel like you should definitely try them out. Moving on. Okay, I don't know if I'm ever gonna find an eyeliner that will make an honest woman of me or an eyeliner that can tame me because I like doing big, bold eyeliner. I like doing drag liner. I'm still learning, but I like to do it. I have used Sugar Pills Bulletproof by wetting the brush and applying it like that. Um, it's very perfect for big eye eyeshadow, big eyeliner. However, it's not as matte black as I like, and it's not as sharp, but with the right brush, it can be sharper. Like liquid felt tip liners are my favorite. Water resistant. Oh my god, I am a girl who lives, who cries, and eats, and laughs, and sweats like you wouldn't believe, and I need eyeliner that's going to last. It's really hard for me to find a liquid, water-resistant, felt-tip liner that actually is like matte black and not shiny. The Stephora brand has tar in it, and it's also got a big shine to it, and it comes off in clumps. So when you're taking your makeup off, there's just little pieces of liner in there, and you're like, ah, cool. And it also dries your skin underneath, so it's not great. Um, Right now I'm using Stigma's liquid eyeliner. It's really matte, it's pretty good, great for precision. Un unbelievable for precision. However, because you have to use so much when you're doing big, bold drag lashes, you have to be kind of careful with that. So I recommend using Bulletproof if you're trying to learn how to do big eyeliner, especially for practicing. Um, but I definitely love Stigma right now. That's my my brand that might, might make an honest woman out of me. Might, might do it. Okay, so you have 
done your makeup, you've done your eyeshadow, you've done your brows, now what? Time to set your makeup. Okay, if you don't want to spend a lot of money, they have samples of All Nighter by Urban Decay. I would recommend getting that. It's the same price and probably the same quantity as NYX's setting spray, although NYX's setting spray is actually really nice. I cannot recommend it enough, but I think this is the OG. This has outlasted boyfriends. This has made my makeup outlast bad dates. It's helped me outlast sad movies. It's everything. Because I'm a girl who literally sweats more than anyone you'll know, this is what I recommend for going out dancing, doing anything. This is a Get the sample. It's like $12. This I think is like 20 some odd dollars. It's so worth it. It's setting spray will make you such a difference for your makeup, so I cannot recommend that enough. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love any positive feedback you guys have. Um, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and all that junk if you wanna see more. I definitely look forward to doing more makeup, fashion related videos. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe, leave comments. If you have any questions or recommendations for future videos, let me know.